Am I the asshole? For refusing to give my wife's family a large portion of her life insurance money. I lost my wife unexpectedly, and it has been one of the most difficult times in my life. She left me with $200,000 in life insurance, and I used $20,000 of it to cover the funeral expenses. Now, my wife's family is demanding a large portion of the remaining life insurance money. Her parents want to use it to rebuild their home in Florida that was destroyed in a recent hurricane. The thing is, they didn't have insurance, and I don't think it's fair for me to cover their losses with the money that my wife left me. My wife's brother also wants a portion of the money to pay for his college tuition. While I sympathize with his situation, I don't think it's my responsibility to fund his education. My wife left this money to me for a reason, and it's up to me to decide how to use it. When I told my wife's family that I couldn't give them the money they were asking for, they accused me of being selfish and not caring about their situation. They said that my wife would have wanted them to have the money and that I was going against her wishes. I feel terrible for my wife's family, but I also have my own financial responsibilities. I have bills to pay, and I want to make sure that I can take care of myself in the future. I don't want to put myself in a difficult financial situation by giving away a large portion of the life insurance money. This is an opportunity for me to pay off my debts and buy the dream home me and my wife always wanted. Maybe I am being selfish but I feel like I am not in the wrong. Me and my wife never really discussed what to do with life insurance money other than the occasional joke of buying the dream home we want or a starter one. I miss her so terribly. Am I the arsehole for refusing to give my wife's family a large portion of her life insurance money? Not the asshole. Death and money can bring out the worst in people. I'm sorry for your loss. Not the asshole. She left you with the money, not them. If she wanted them to have some of it she should have put it in a will or agreement of some sort to divide the money amongst her chosen parties. Don't listen to the family. It's pure greed speaking. If your wife wanted them to have some of her insurance proceeds, she'd have put that in the beneficiary part of the policy. Not the asshole. Don't give the vultures one cent. Not the asshole. How can you own a home and not have any insurance on it? Especially in FL with all the hurricanes. That is just crazy. Not the asshole. Your wife left that to take care of you. If she had wanted it to be divided up, she would have stipulated that beforehand. Your in-law are a bunch of greedias though. I am so sorry for your loss. Such a weird family your wife had. A life insurance is supposed to help the survivors live without the deceased financial support. Exactly like you have been doing. Paying bills, getting a house. Not the asshole. It's your money. You are using it to continue your life. If your wife wanted her family to have some of it, she would have put them as beneficiaries. She didn't. Not the asshole. If she wanted them to have the money she would have left it to them. You would be going against her wishes by giving them the money she left for you. Not the asshole. If your wife had wanted to leave the money to her family, I feel like she would have made those wishes known and or made arrangements for herself. Personally, I feel it's a bit tacky for them to all come after you for the money like that in your time of grief. Holy shit the greed. Not the asshole to keep it all. Personally, I would invest it for my retirement home, but you do you. Not the asshole. I really can't believe your wife's family. I'd end any more conversations around this and block them if they can't respect your decision. Not the asshole. The insurance was for you. She could have left it part to you and part to them but she didn't. Sorry for your loss. Not the asshole life insurance is usually to protect the spouse. I'm sure your wife never talked about giving money to her family. Just say no, it was left to me, not you. That was her wishes. Not the asshole. That money was left to you. They are the selfish ones for viewing her death as some opportunity to cash in. Dot and to guilt the love of her life on top of it. So much audacity.
You were a two-income household and now you're a one-income household suddenly. Save the money for when you will need it. Not the asshole. They are responsible for their own adult lives, especially their poor life decisions. Or, as the old saying goes you're not required to set yourself on fire to keep someone else warm. Edit $200,000 after paying out funeral costs Uncle Sam takes, it's nothing. They're asking you to give up your dreams to fund theirs. Not the asshole if she wanted them to have the money, she would have made them the beneficiaries. Not the asshole. Life insurance is taken out to help someone's immediate family, usually spouse, to financially weather the loss of an income or role in the family. It's not a cash grab or lottery winnings. Respectfully, her family treating this life insurance money as a windfall is abhorrent. It's not their money. Also, there's a reason you designate beneficiaries on those policies. The deceased had a choice where that money was going to go. I am terribly sorry for your loss, op. Not the asshole. Insurance money is meant to replace the income of the deceased. If your wife was still employed she would be paying bills and contributing to a new home, not funding her parents rebuild or her brother's education. You are using the money as it is intended. In your time of grief, don't be bullied into poor financial planning. I'm sorry for your loss. They sound like vultures. Not the asshole and if your wife wanted anyone else besides you to have a share of the insurance she would have included them as beneficiaries. Don't give in to name calling. I am sorry for your loss. Not the asshole. If your wife would have wanted them to have the money, she would have named them as beneficiaries. Not the asshole. If she meant for her family to have some money then she would have either made them partial beneficiaries or told you. Not the asshole where would they have secured funds had your wife not left you insurance money? Would they be extorting somebody else? I'm so sorry for your loss. Like vultures circling. Not the asshole. You and your wife planned well. Sorry they didn't. Natar. In the scheme of things, $200,000 isn't a ton of money. You, as the surviving spouse, need that money because you no longer have a spouse contributing to bills and a retirement plan. I never understand these people who think they are owed something. Not the asshole a hundredfold. Are you kidding me? Your wife died and her family wants a cut of her life insurance to spend on their own needs wants. I hardly believe what I'm reading here. Cut these people off immediately, and be glad that there is at least a tiny positive about your loss there is no need to keep in touch with these people any longer. I'm sorry for your loss and wish you all the best. Here comes the vultures. If your wife wanted them to have money, she could have made them beneficiaries. I'm so sorry for your loss and this nonsense you're going through. Not the asshole. Not the asshole if your wife wanted them to have the money they would have been her beneficiaries. Not the asshole sounds like you are sole beneficiary so that money is yours and yours only. BTW your wife's family sound greedy. Not the asshole it's your money you do not have to give them anything.